hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is kiara if you are new here and today we are going to be answering some questions i asked you guys to leave me questions on the youtube community tab and then i also put up an instagram story for you guys to ask me some questions some things you want to know um all the questions are a variety of things have to do with college plants relationships all of that but if you're new here i'd really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already you can follow my social media which will all be down below and also listed on the screen but if you'd like to hear some juicy questions or answers technically then keep on watching okay so first we will start out with the questions that i got from the YouTube community tab. The first question I got was, what was your first plant and is it still alive? So my first plant is that one, where I can't point. That one right there on top of the um, three tiered plant thingy right there. Um, I got it from Ikea, the plant I got it from Ikea. Um, I got it in November of 2019 as you can see. It's still alive, doing good. Um, we're going strong, it's a Dresania, if you were wondering. Another question is, how's your college life and are you happy you moved schools? Um, I don't know how to explain. I have no college life, if you'll say that. Like, I'm in college. I do my homework, you know, attend class when we're not in a pandemic. But other than that, like, I don't really have a typical college life like you might see on YouTube or you might see on Instagram in movies, stuff like that. Um, like, I really don't go out to parties. I don't have this huge friend group. So I guess I really don't have a college life. Um, but other than that, I'm very, very happy that I move schools, um, if you don't know. I went to Grand Canyon University in Arizona my freshman year. I'm now a junior, um, so I transferred to Old Dominion University here in Virginia, and I've been there since my sophomore year, and I really love it. You know, the professors are great, the school is great, and it's affordable, <laughs> which is, you know, the number one reason why I transferred universities, and also I am closer to all of my family, like my mom lives here, my brother. You know my cousins live here so i honestly will say it was a great decision i wish i would have just went to odu to begin with instead of going to gcu but i mean i went got the experience and okay next question is what do you do for work okay there's three questions in this one question okay so what do you do for work currently unemployed <laughs> um before being unemployed um i was a nanny um for two families and then before that i've worked at fast food restaurants but currently i am unemployed um don't really know what the next step for me to do here is um yeah that's that's life right now um going along with more questions that this person asked is what is the plan once you graduate so my projected graduation date is December 2022, so right around the corner. Um, plans is to get a job, you know. Um, as of right now, my boyfriend and I have plans on moving to Texas once I graduate. And yeah, get a teaching job in Texas because if you don't know, my major is history with a concentration in teaching preparation. So... I would like to be a high school history teacher, maybe a middle school teacher, I'm not really sure yet. But yeah, so right now our plans are only moving to Texas and me of course getting a job in the teaching field. And then she also asked, um, hot girl summer or vaccinated and quarantined? <laughs> well, I'd say a mixture of both because I am, I did get my first dose, so I'm not technically fully vaccinated yet. But a little mixture of both, you know, I'm gonna get fully vaccinated here, you know, we'll probably go out a little bit here and there. But I'm mostly a homebody anyways, so not really much hot girl stuff going on, especially since, you know, got a boyfriend, so there's only so much I can do. Okay, next question is, do I talk to anyone from high school? 
um kind of the only people i really keep close in touch with is my friends from high school here um uh, my friends shana and noah uh, they're actually dating and they're getting married soon i'm so excited because i get to be in their wedding but yeah those are basically the only people i talk to from high school um i have other people who i used to be friends with in high school when i went to high school in arizona that i talk to every now and then but you know usually just the two that i went to high school with here and the last question from the youtube community tab is what did you where or wait when did you and your boyfriend meet and when did you start dating so we met in october um on this awesome app called tinder and yeah what was the other part of the question okay yeah so we met in october like the middle of october or something like that and then we started dating in december so like two months okay so the next question is what is your biggest goal in life and shana actually asked me this question so thanks um that's a hard one i would say that my biggest goal in life is to just be financially stable so that i never have to worry about how i'm gonna pay my bills um if i like i won't i my goal is to just be financially stable and not have to worry about how much money is in my account because i'll be so financially stable that there's no need for me to worry like my goal is to one day just to be able to go to Target and buy whatever I want and not even care about how much it is because I already know like, you know, I got the money so there's no reason to even get upset about how much I spent or, you know, stress about, oh my gosh, I spent this much now, am I going to be able to pay, you know, X bill. So that's my goal, be financially stable so that I can spend as much money as I want at Target and also on plant. The next question is how many plants do you have? Well, I have a uh why am I blanking? I have a plant tour um of my channel that I will leave in the cards for you to watch. I currently have I currently have 58 plants. <laughs> in the video I actually had 50 plants, but you know, I have a problem and I can't stop buying plants. But I currently have 58 and I'm trying to not buy as many plants right now because we do plan on moving within the next two months and it's already going to be a hassle moving 58 plants so i'm trying not to add any more between this time but if i see a plant and it's a plant that i've been wanting then like i have no choice but to get it okay the next question is do i want kids yes i love kids so much like i said um i have nanny before i babysit a lot um but yes i would like to have like maybe four maybe three we'll see how you know childbirth and pregnancy and all that goes for me but my goal is to hopefully have four kids especially because i grew up two sibling household just me and my brother and honestly i feel like it was kind of boring <laughs> like i feel like it would have been more fun if we had you know more siblings or like other people around us but my mom thinks that you know one boy one girl is perfect but you know four kids could be fun and the last question is is it easy living with your boyfriend um <laughs> um it has its ups and downs there's definitely more ups than there are downs um it was very challenging at first i mean i don't even think we're a month in we're about me are we a month in I think we're about a month and a half into living together. Obviously, at first, it's a challenge because it's two people in one space where you're not used to being together 24-7, even though, like, he would come over and spend the night every now and then and stuff like that. But it's a real adjustment going from just, like, spending the night to, like, 24-7 together. Like, every night you're coming home to each other and being with each other. So... I mean there's a lot to it it honestly depends on the type of people that you are but for us it's been a little bit of a challenge but honestly it's gone better than i thought it was gonna go i really thought that there'd be much more problems but the problems that we have had are normal like every person that i've talked to about 
you know, moving in with their significant other. It's always just, you know, just getting used to each other for the most part. But yeah, so those are all of the questions that I have had and answered for you guys. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comments or you could leave them to me on Instagram, which I'll also have my social medias on the screen. Again, for you to follow, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.